uh, welcome to my channel Techland AI. So in the previous uh, lecture, I have given you the brief introduction about how we can install MySQL. And today in this lecture, so we will be installing our MySQL workbench. Okay, so let's get started. So before moving on, so guys, this is my channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment, and share for the tech-related updates. Okay, so let's begin. So I will quickly uh, go to this URL, which is dev.mysql/downloads. Okay, so now I will quickly go to this link, my dev.mysql.com/downloads, and I will click on this MySQL workbench, and I will select my operating system. Based on your operating system, you can select your uh, Microsoft Windows, Ubuntu, or Red Hat. So mine is Mac OS. So I'm trying to click on my OS version, and I'll click on this download. Okay, so I will say no thanks. Just start my download. Okay, so my download has been completed, and I will double click on this DMG file. Okay, so it is trying to say that copy this MySQL. Workbench to my applica application, so I will drag and drop to my application folder. Okay, right. So now it is copying to my applications. Okay, so it has been successfully copied. So I will click on the applications, and I will find this MySQL workbench. So I will double click on it. Okay, so are you sure you want to open it? Yes. Okay, so now basically we have already installed our MySQL. So basically, my work bench is the official graphical user interface tool for MySQL. So it allows us to design. It allows us to create the database schemas. It will. It will allow us to create the tables, insert the data, as well as design or run SQL queries to work with the stored data, right? So basically, uh, like instead of providing you the uh, CMD or the terminal, so they have provided a nice UI in which you can query and run all the commands. Okay, so I will connect to my MySQL to this MySQL workbench, and I need to provide the username and password. So I had made uh, the default user as root, and the password is password one two three, right? With the P capital. Okay. So and click on OK. Right. So this is the uh, interface. Okay. So uh, let's click on the schema. So here in the schemas, we have two database. One is the employee database, and another is the employee underscore data database. Right. So let us try to uh use the database first and then inside the database we need to query some tables so inside my employee database i have a table called customer right so first of all i need to select the database for example i need to select your employee right so i will say use employee and i will run this right after that i will say that select star from customers right and it will give me the list of all the customers which are present in this particular data table data right or the table right and uh, you can see that so here these are the number of records which are present here in the customers table okay so this is simple guys right so you can create your tables you can create your database i will let you know in the next lecture how you can create your tables how you can create your uh, database how you can insert it how you can delete it how you can update it and then likewise so we will try to make a project live project with our fast api which will add delete modify the users in the existing mysql table right so we will uh, do it in the upcoming videos so stay tuned for my next videos till then goodbye keep watching to my videos and do like and subscribe Thank you.